This time at the line, Cocker, eight up, five seconds, a 152 to a high 154 for both Grabham and Guy Smith. Closed the gap down to just about a second between the one and the 16 and only about four and a half seconds to the leader. There's your top four right now. The real fast cars, the one at the back, it's coming forward. Guy Smith trying to come back oh, on David the grass. Cross. David pinches him, Guy takes to the grass. The gloves are off. This is for all the marbles. We talked about spoilers. We talked about the championship. This is it right now. Hands are being played. Cocker right there. You know he has a bit more straightaway speed. Nothing like the 12 car showed in the early stages of the race, but he does have a straightaway advantage over the cars in front of him. And you got the second longest straightaway coming up, or actually the third after this next corner. Graf through the carousel, then a GT Challenge car, and then second, third, and fourth in LMP. They're going to have to clear the 23 before the king. Spec, there'll be this lap plus three more. Looking at the clock at the top of the screen, just over six minutes to go. We know Smith has good straight line speed. It's about even with the HPD, and then Cocker a little bit faster. Cocker got balked just a little bit at the king, or is he laying back to get a run? I would be laying back to get a run because we're coming toward the front straight, that uphill run, and that's a long straightaway. He has the speed, he has enough time, he just can't afford to make a mistake. See, this gives him exactly what he needs. He's got enough distance that whatever kind of momentum he can carry, he should be able to go right by both these guys. Johnny Cocker, one of the future stars of sports car racing, gets the run. There's Klaus Graf across the line. Here come the next three. Cocker on it early out of 15. Looks to the inside of Smith. Not yet. Great lap by Klaus Graf there. He got the hammer down at 154.6. That's the fastest we've seen for him on a clear track in quite some time. So he was significantly faster than the guys behind him. He pulled about a second and a half to two seconds on that one lap. Cocker not with the run. He needed off of 15. Unable to close the gap considerably. Still right there. Can he do it now? There he comes. He's in the draft of Guy Smith. They'll look to the inside for five. Will Smith defend? Pushes him over a little bit. Gives him room. Side by side, Cocker slides up the inside, takes the position. P3 for Johnny Cocker. Now, sights firmly set on David Bravo. Now, Guy Smith can use Cocker as a, as a, a drafting partner to try to get up there to that Bravo machine, too. We'll see what happens. Cocker needs one more car per lap. He's got enough time, he has enough speed. Gunnar Jeanette still leading an LMP challenge over Luis Diaz. And Dirk Mueller leading over Patrick Long in GT, but this battle is intense. Cocker trying to close the gap to Brava. Traffic Brava. up ahead. Oh, this Will that traffic. be a factor through the kink? One of the GTC cars. Yes, it is. Bradham had to get out of the throttle a little bit. Here comes Johnny Cocker. Here comes Guy Smith. He got the best run through the king. Brabham will be defensive down here in Canada. Nothing doing this time for Johnny Cocker, and Guy Smith closes up as well. Perhaps Cocker couldn't see the GTC car as well, didn't know to lay back to get the run. Smith putting the pressure on. This is where Johnny needs to set up, right here. This long front straightaway gets it done. Great job there by Brabs. He gaps the cars by two car lengths there. That gives him a little bit of a margin down this straightaway. But I tell you, that last three 100 yards is shot. Three minutes to go here, pal. Three, three minutes and a half to go. Minutes left. This, Go get him if you can. This Here comes one more. Cocker with the run, side by side, but Brabham's going to take it deep. Nothing doing this time for Cocker. He's going to have to play hard if he's going to want to get by David Brabham. But Graf is increasing the lead. He's now up to nearly six seconds. White flag next time by. Let's go get him. Go get him. Are these guys fighting so hard? Or did Klaus finally get the okay to go clean with the go get rich with the fuel? Here we go. Here he comes, this is going to be tough. Cocker's going to get second here. Then he's got to chase this man, the six car. Brabham slicks back to the inside, but it's not enough. Cocker holds the position, a lap and a half to the checkers. Can he close the gap to Graf? He had been held up a little bit, I think, by those other cars being careful to get by him, but he doesn't have time to be careful anymore. And he's got clean racetrack in front of him. Graf with just about six seconds at the line the last time by, but we know that Johnny Cocker can lay down that lap. We've seen him down in the 52s. I think if Graf doesn't get traffic, he may have enough margin. I didn't think it was gonna be enough, but right now that lap that he laid down on the prior lap was significant. It's really gapped the rest of this field. 
Cock or has Claire Road ahead, but he has a big margin to make up on Klaus Graf in the lead. But does Graf have the margin on fuel? Does Klaus Graf have enough fuel to get to the checkers? Chris. Well, Brian just checked in with Jeff Carter on that, and he said it is so close. It is going to be out of fuel when we come across that checker flag line. I said, are you full rich right now? Are you lean? He said, we're running as lean as we can. Oh, boy. Wow. If Johnny Cocker doesn't catch him on the racetrack, the six may have a problem with fuel. We said Road America is all about close finishes. We may get another. The white flag waves for Klaus Graf just over four miles to the checkered flag. It would be their third victory of the season, but that car right there, the eight, he wants it. Johnny Cocker in pursuit. Graf goes faster still, a 54-1. The gap is now 5.2 seconds. Without traffic, Graf is in great shape. The final spot on the podium, however, is going to come down to the wire. Comes down a few miles oh, of traffic. Graf's off, two wheels off the road. Trying really hard now. Cocker closing in, stalking his prey. Klaus Graf in front of him, running very lean. We heard Chris saying, look at this battle. Guy Smith trying to get the position for Brabham. Oh, that was so close as he flicked out from underneath the gearbox of David Brabham, but Brabham holds the inside line down into five. Championship implications here as well. Brabham can't let that 16 get in front. He needs to be as close to the number six as he can. That's right. If he drops down to fourth, that'd be a 10-point swing in, in the points. Not a lot of opportunities for Guy Smith right now. One of them down here in turn eight, but he's not close enough. Guy Smith gets by David Graff, and Graff hangs on for the win. The points lead will be cut from 23 down to 13. Traffic ahead for Graff. He's flashing the lights. He needs to get through here clean. Cocker gets past the number 17 of Ryan Sellers through the king. Graff got held up a little bit. David Robertson in the 40 right in front. Cocker has closed the distance considerably, breaking into Canada corner. He's right there. Graff's defending. Graff is defending. Cocker is going to be in good shape. Dale White realizes he's, he's out, of fuel. out of fuel. He is out of fuel, and the pass has been made for the lead. Can he hang on? Does Graff have enough to get it across the line in second? Johnny Cocker looking for their first victory. Cocker overslows a little bit, makes sure he gets the good run. The Judd V10 putting the power down up the front straightaway. The checkered flag waves. Drayson racing. Johnny Cocker, Paul Drayson, Dale White, the entire team. Huge celebration, but on the other end of Pitt Road, huge disappointment for Muscle Milk Team Sido Sport. Look at the line. Klaus Graf still takes second. Finishes in front of David Brabham. That is big in the points, but huge for Drayson Racing. Wow, what was looking like a 10-point swing in the points is just four. As Graf finishes second and Brabham third. Margin of victory, 1.05 seconds. We said at the beginning it was about the run for the championship. It was about the spoilers as well. Well, today, the victory goes to the spoilers indeed. Johnny Cocker and Paul Drayson, what a fantastic run that was. I'm sure there's a lot of celebration down there, Jamie. There certainly is a lot of excitement. Crew members making their way down. Johnny Cocker getting the helmet off right now. Johnny Cocker, you made that pass right at the end of the final lap of the race. How hard were you pushing out there? Uh, yeah, flat out, flat out. Um, no, unbelievable. I mean, I made a mistake, got really close to David around the carousel and, uh, and lost the front. Ended up getting loads of crap on the tires and uh, yeah, then I thought it was basically over. I saw Klaus way in the distance, but yeah, I made uh, first time I went flat through the, through the kink in the race, but thought, you know, it's worth the risk. So no, just unbelievable. I can't believe it. It's fantastic. Second pole to the first win. Congratulations. Young and brave. <laughs> Young and brave indeed.